Hi, Thomas. Okay, so you, you hear me? You, you, can you hear us now? Okay, well, she's not talking about what we're going uh, nice to meet you. Um, I'm a fan, and actually, I, I just went to your exhibition in Gallery Hyundai. You have your exhibition? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, everybody loved it. And uh, Okay. Can we start questions? Okay. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so, um, um, why did you, um, why did you participate in this project? Oh, because I think so. It's very important that uh, you know, in the current situation with a climate crisis, global warming, I think so. It's a beautiful initiative to to work across disciplines and to work with music with artists theater, with science, uh, and with many disciplines of trying to think uh, how we can attune ourselves to a world that we are not really uh, caring enough. And this means I really like the idea to connect, uh, as, as the project is named, different disciplines and different people around the world to try to, to, to for a better future, all together, not only, you know, but also for the spot, for the earth, for the of this planet. Wow. Wonderful. Um, actually, your, um, your city, um, you, in your, uh, I saw the exhibition and, and, and your, your perspective of Seoul was like really beautiful actually, the clouds and, and the buildings. Um, so tell me more, tell us more uh, about, yeah, tell, tell us more about your work, Arosi. Arosan? Yes. Cool. What we, yeah, we are, we are trying, it's, 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 it's kind of a, we, we call it like an epoch, like the Anthropocene, where humans have, a, or some humans have a very strong impact, and uh, they treat the resources in a very unequal relationship. With a, we are trying to call, uh, instead of the Anthropocene, uh, yeah, an epoch where, where humans relate each other differently, and they are connected in a different way, with uh, one to each other, with a, uh, with a, uh, Resources also oh, the planet yeah. and with the sun oh, and with the air. This is why we call it the air. And in this case, you know, we are trying to, to see how we could uh, try by connecting differently, try to imagine a new epoch, a new epoch, a new you know a new period of time where things could be different. And this means there is no better than imagining together this this epoch that we call Erosin. And, and with that, oh. you know, there are different uh, sculptures of different. Uh, way of, of, of trying to work together that this epoch is start to manifest. And one of them was the construction of the flying museum. We call it Museo Aerosolar, which was made out of reusing plastic bags. We start to, to have a single use of a plastic bag. We produce a lot of pollution into, into the planet Earth, many species who eat plastic, and then we even eat plastic at the end of the day. We imagine that by having a different caring relationship with the plastic, we could uh, invent a, a museum who can fly only with the solar energy. And in 2006, we started with friends and community, and now it's a global community. And this is why we thought we could also invent an epoch that we will call it Aerosin. And it's based on, on, on not using fossil fuel, not using, uh, uh, you know, all the ways of, of, of fossil fuel to try to imagine an epoch free from fossil fuel. differently how the world will be uh, when we breathe uh, an epoch which is free from fossil fuels. Mm. Um, thank you. And um, it it looks like it sounds like very it's like it's like a it's like a movie. It's like um, to be able to fly <laughs> with the solar panel or just wind like without all those um, artificial fuels and um, so I think it's really cool, like your 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 kind of city, um, your your city and your country, your world, you make, imagine, and you draw. So um, our last question is that 
What's what's the future society um we imagine and we like to see? I, I think so. That one small thing is like all these uh, idea. Uh, we have to think that today already exists a city which is uh, with with, uh, with all the aviation, the airplanes, and, and we pollute the air very very strongly in the way of how we live and, and in the way how we we you know we relate with with, uh, with these uh, extractive economies that we have been setting in place. This means the idea is like to try to to generate a movement, a society which is connected differently and can can live uh, uh, not necessarily with uh, with the way how we relate with uh, with uh, with the resources that today uh, uh, we we use and and then distribute it in a very unequal way. This means you know it's, it's really kind of dreaming big and then uh, also that these cities, uh, uh, you know, the, the way that we can be suspended up into the air is very different than the way that today we we also uh, share and, 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 and use technology to that extent. It's, been, it's, it's, it's really without solar panels, without uh, uh, speed, uh, it's just a kind of a magic. It's the sun heat up the air, which is inside the envelope and then you are able to lift up in the air. And in Argentina, we are trying to break a worldwide record for the first time in human history with, with your project and support. We want to uh, lift the person in the air uh, who be able to suspend up into the air without solar panel, without helium, without hydrogen, without a burner, without solar panels. And for the first human history, we can elevate ourselves free from fossil fuel. And this will be a worldwide record. Oh. Thank you, Thomas. Fantastic. We're very, Thank you. <laughs> we're very happy to work with you, and we hope we could see um, the city, um, the Aerosan, soon, real soon. Thank you, yes. Why well, you don't come to Argentina? Come to Argentina, and, and you will be lifted up in the sky without fossil fuel. You should come. <laughs> Uh, I'll call you to this number. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Bye, Thomas. Bye. Thanks. Bye. -bye.